Okay, uh, let me share my screen with you here. And this is not the exact same question, but let me get my face up here for you. All right, this is not the exact same question, but it, it is the same question, but it's not the exact same numbers. I already had it made, uh, so since you're learning, you should use this then to apply it to your other questions. So um, this is the same, basically it's the same question. We've got a semicircle or hemispherical plate. Yours is six feet and three feet. This one's 10 feet and two feet. So the instructions are here and I go through the derivation of the, using the Riemann sum all the way through it. And as you can see here, but for, for your intents and purposes, I think you're just looking for how to actually go from the question to this part here, which is the answer. And well, it's actually quite simple. What you just need to do is you need to, if you, if you draw a rectangle across, then you can imagine what the area would be. And we would call this delta y. Now you could, Depending on the object, you could go with respect to X as well. So I have I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel of all these problems, doing them with respect to X, doing them with respect to Y and so forth. Um, but in, in most cases, what you're gonna do is find the area from left to right of a rectangle with respect to the Y coordinate. And if you can imagine then, what is, what is the distance from here to here at any point on it? Well, if you solve for X, then you'll know that this length here going out anywhere is going to be this place here. And then this length going this way would be negative. And so if you subtract the two of those, you're going to get the, the diameter at any point, which then gives you two times that in this case, because you add them together, they're the same thing. So then the question is, what is, what is the water level? So that's the next thing. What is the water level? So first find the area, find what represents the area from left to right of the object, then determine what the water level is. And the water level in this case is going to be uh, it, the diameter. Don't This way we have five feet. So it'll be five feet plus two. And then the height at any given point is going to be y. So you take, you add the water level and then subtract the height. And then that leaves you with this piece. And then if you're, you're relating this to, uh, to, the, to the Riemann sum, and don't forget the 62.5 is the water density. And so don't forget that because this is your formula delta and then de depending on it, but delta x. This is x of y, like a function of x or a function of y. So uh, it, it might be f of x, depending on if you're doing it with respect to x or with respect to y or whatever. But since x of y, which is what I did here, x of y. And so then you can plug them into the Riemann sum where you, this is the limit definition of an integral, of a definite integral. And uh, you, so you got your water density here. We've got our area and then we've got our distance between the, um, the water level and the height of the object. And it, it, if the object is outside of the water, this is gonna change a little. Then, then from here, it's just a basic integral. So at this point, um, I used Wolfram to solve it because it would take a whole nother couple pages. But at this point, it's um, just a couple basic U substitutions actually. So it's not that, actually this one would be a trig. This, this piece times this piece would be like a trig sub. And, um, then uh, this piece times this piece would be a U substitution or other methods. There's all kinds of stuff, but then they want you to round it up and so forth. So it should be somewhere around like this. But one of the things people forget is to write the density in there, depending on the liquid that it's in, the density is going to change. So some people forget that part. Um, but other than that, all you have to do is find right here, the area from left to right of a, of a rectangle, and then the water level subtracting the y height or maybe adding depending on whether it's submerged or not, 
And then delta y, that just becomes dy if you're going converting, but that's it. So then the two here I brought out with the 62.5, give you 125. And then you just evaluate it. So setting it up is just the tricky part. I do have on my YouTube channel, JJ the Tutor, I've got like every single one of these solved. So if you're confused on different objects, isosceles, triangles, all that stuff, then you could check out some more. But it's a pretty it's a pretty lengthy problem to do in a five minute video on here. But this is the same question. So use this to solve your question. You could you can pretty much just say that you're gonna have um, since your diameter was six, this is going to be nine minus y squared. And since your height was three, so three, so this would be six. So for your question, you're going to end up with uh, this. You should have uh, three plus three should be six minus y square root nine minus y squared dy integral zero to three for your diameter. Uh, your radius, sorry, you're integrating from zero to the radius, by the way. And because we're going from here to here across the plate, so that should be hopefully obvious. And so let me just double check your question. So six feet submerged, three feet below the surface. Yeah, so it should it should look like this because th this piece here is going to be three plus three. And then this this piece here is going to be three squared for your radius. And then, and then you can you can evaluate that and figure it out. But uh, the trick with this question is that if they're assigning it to you on your homework, there's a good chance it'll be on the on the exam. But it will probably won't be the object that you were assigned. This question, this exact question, was on my exam when I took this course. Exactly this one, semicircle, one. And uh, I, I remember I, it, it was such an easy problem. When you look at it, you're like, oh, you just find the area and you do this. And then some, but sometimes it's just like your brain just like forgets it, even though you did it like a hundred times. So the best thing for this question is plan on it being on the exam, but make sure you know how to do every single object prior to the exam. Because if they give you a semicircle and an isosceles, they might give you like a rectangular plate at an angle or something like that. So just make sure that you're doing that, uh, all of these before the exam, otherwise you'll be in trouble. So hope that helps. Thanks.